Um, does your party support the National Maternity Services Plan, which strongly recommends the midwifery continuity model include public home birthing services? Queensland is only one of actually two states and the ACTU that does not provide public home birth services. Will your party commit to introducing this as a part of a continuity model for midwife-led birthing? Thanks, Thank Karen. Uh, Aidan, would you mind yeah. responding first, yeah, sorry, please? Sorry, what was the name? Karen. Karen. Karen, thanks, Karen, for the question. Uh, this is one very close to my heart because uh, two of my youngest brothers were at home births, actually, very successful home births, mind you. And, of course, this is always one of the controversial issues that, uh, you know, if something goes wrong, of course, then everyone uh, goes to ground in terms of their position. Uh, very much so, I would, uh, the Australian Party would certainly support, obviously, having these certain mechanisms in place to ensure uh, that, the, that the risks were, were minimised. Obviously, the if there were complications, they'd be uh, uh, obviously you wouldn't want to pursue uh, having a home birth if those complications were identified prior to the birth. But I certainly think that um, that avenue in the past has worked quite successfully. Yes, there has been isolated cases where uh, that hasn't gone to plan. But I do believe uh, that, um, that that is something that certainly the Australian Party would represent. I can, uh, we've had a pretty good hit rate in my family. There was two out of nine. So I think if you had if you had the necessary resources for that but of course as I said you have to make extremely be extremely careful in terms of the ones uh, that were approved to have the home birth but I, I don't see uh, why, why not um, you know when you when you look at the first Australians they've carried on for 40,000 years and they did a pretty good job of sustaining their race so I think if we in, in, in this day and age with the resource we've got access to now I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be supported. Thank you. Minister. Um, I bring a very open mind to this question I'm very um, strongly supportive of uh, um, a far bigger role uh, for the white, for midwifery care uh, in our Queensland public ho in, in our in our whole system, not just the public hospitals. Um, and I think it's uh, it needs to uh, be uh, elevated in status and importance uh, a lot more uh, than what it has been. Uh, in terms of home publicly f funded home birthing, there are the two issues. Uh, that I would want to firstly bring an open mind to but also to carefully examine and that is the way in which home birthing could take place uh, that is safe for the mother and safe for the, uh, for the baby uh, and take the best clinical but not exclusively medical uh, best clinical advice about how that can be done. Uh, so that's on the issue of uh, safety. Uh, on the issue of uh, uh, public funding of that, uh, I would again bring an open mind to that. Uh, I think that would have to be uh, carefully considered as to how it might be staged if it was to happen. Uh, but I'm not the treasurer and I, to be frank with you, I'm not in a position to uh, say yes, we would publicly fund it. Uh, so I'm being cautious and saying to you, to be frank, that I, I would bring uh, a strong advocacy to that question, uh, but I can't give you a funding uh, undertaking at this juncture. Um, uh, I have um, uh, personally experienced uh, the extraordinary benefits uh, uh, and joy for parents of uh, home birthing. Uh, and. Um, many, many years ago. And um, uh, so I am absolutely predisposed to uh, that as an additional choice for birthing mothers and, and fathers uh, to have in Queensland. Uh, but I'm being careful in my statement to, uh, as I say, to be frank, uh, I would want to be satisfied that it can be done safely in the way in which things happen uh, and also uh, would have to uh, carefully considered how that might be publicly funded. They're not necessarily linked, of course. Thank you. Uh, Karen, thank you for the question. Um, I also share uh, the question of safety as raised by the Minister. Um, I certainly tonight couldn't give you that guarantee. I'd want to seek appropriate advice across a range of, uh, of areas to see how it can be done, can it be done safely, what are the issues involved in that, and take the appropriate advice. I assume you're talking about low risk uh, anyway. Yeah, uh, and um, the, the policies and protocols and um, criteria and um, yep. nationally done 
um, has been done in this, um, there's been public um, um, unearthing um, attached to services in New South Wales since 2005 and across other states. Very, like, I think Western Australia's been a decade mm. and um, there's, um, you know, um, um, there, there's certainly um, all that work's been done for safety. So they're safe and, and successful is what um, you're saying. Very, yeah. very, yeah, and, and, it's, and it's, um, you know, been um, government um, um, you know, funded, funded yeah. and and all, all of those things. Thanks, Karen. Yeah. Those would be the areas I'd like to look at and what reports are available from that. Uh, but in relation to um, uh, midwife home birth services, all I can say at this point in time is that I do have those concerns. They need to be addressed. If they can be addressed, we can then consider the best way forward. But I certainly cannot commit to that at this point in time. Thank you. Adam. Um, I'll give um, sort of two answers. The, the first one is, uh, in, in the time that I've been uh, lead candidate for the Greens in this campaign, I've, I have been cornered by midwives on a number of occasions. <laughs> and, uh, they do that. I bet you they have. do that. <laughs> Better than anyone. Uh, and I find it, I find it a, a, a very interesting but very complicated area, to be honest about it. Um, and, and I even, at, at one stage, called... Um, uh, Senator Di Natale, our federal health spokesperson's office, and spoke to his senior advisor to say, tell me what the hell all this midwife stuff is, um, and still ended up a bit confused coming out the other side of it. I, I, I appreciate that, but I think this is a, probably a little different to what you're talking about, that um, with private midwives there are all sorts of problems with insurance and so on when it comes to... No, no, this yeah, is this is but you're talking about the publicly funded... Yeah, yeah, it's attached to hospitals yeah. and it's Yeah. Um, the whole um, m mirage of um, um, policy and procedure and all that sort of stuff there, and it's all built in and you know, all of those uh, safety and all that sort of stuff and that. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so if all of those things were ticked off and it all comes out as being completely safe, then, you know, in, in, on, in principles terms, Green's policy always supports um, the greatest sort of range of reproductive choice and access to... Um, appropriate medical supervision and assistance to ensure that the choices a woman makes are safe and appropriately supervised. Uh, and also, um, I've got there's some Greens members in the audience here tonight who've been nodding vigorously at me, so I assume that probably our policy already says that, that we love it, um, but our health policy is publicly available, so you'll be able to confirm that on our website. Thanks, Adam. Silly Ang, can yeah. I have 10 seconds? I of just course. Real, I just realised something. Uh, we we taught their mother's choice all the time. My, bro my little brother was born. Uh, and it cost, it's a hell of a lot cheaper because it cost him, I think it was a bag of sugar, a kilogram of butter and a dozen eggs. And I'm just starting to think it probably wasn't mum's choice, it was probably dad's. <laughs> <laughs> it just hit me then, 32 years later. Thank you.